Bappers, my name is Cookie the Bapp and so is the show. We are here for Life Magazine, where I keep you updated on joyous, noteworthy events to start up your week. Today is Monday, May 10th, 2021. Let's start looking onward. Starting sometime this week, federal officials are expected to authorize the Pfizer vaccine for 12 to 15 year olds. The huge mass of newly eligible teenagers will help use up existing supply and boost immunity even more within the American population. Governments and health districts in states such as Maryland and Virginia are already preparing for around 1 million young people to become eligible, exploring multiple options for inoculation, such as the mass vaccination sites and clinics already set up for adults, targeted clinics in schools, in pediatrician offices. Pfizer applied for emergency use authorization of its vaccine to teens after submitting data to the FDA of a clinical trial they conducted involving 2,260 12 to 15 year olds at the end of March. Pfizer said that the trial showed an efficacy of 100% for 12 to 15 year olds who took the vaccine. The data is currently under review. biologists found a 100-year-old sturgeon in the Detroit River, weighing over 240 pounds, breaking records as the largest lake sturgeon ever recorded in the country. Jason Fisher and his teammates, fellow biologists Jenny Johnson and Paige Wigren, were working with a Michigan-based Fish and Wildlife Service office to catch and survey the lake sturgeon population in the Detroit River last month. The once in a lifetime event was posted on Facebook by the conservation office, mentioning that the sturgeon likely hatched in the Detroit River around 1920, around the same time when Detroit became the fourth largest city in America. After the US Fish and Wildlife team made measurements and took photos to record its sheer size, the biologist tagged the sturgeon to make identifiable in case of future interaction and released it back into the water. Due to worries that the Kentucky Derby would postpone till September 5th, 2021 because of the pandemic, the Kentucky Turtle Derby became the answer, which took place on May 2nd. This has not happened since the 1945 Kentucky Derby that got suspended by the federal government as World War II came to a close. This is when the Kentucky Turtle Derby was born. Now, because of the coronavirus pandemic pausing sports and life, this alternative was picked back up. The 147th Kentucky Derby was fortunately able to take place on May 1st this month. So now you can enjoy the fastest two minutes in sports as well as the slowest eight minutes in sports with an eight turtle field. The names of the eight athletes are Seattle Slow, Green Mamba, Sir Hides A Lot, Galapago, What the Turtleneck, Rocket to Nowhere, Steve, and American Tortuga. You can see who won this exhilarating race on Old Forester's YouTube channel to see who clutched the gold medal. Links to the video can be found in the description below. That's all for now. Tune in next week and look forward to more joyous, noteworthy events. I'm Cookie LeBap. Thank you for watching.